Hey Aquarius, welcome to your May 2024 general tarot reading. My name is Stacy. I am the Palladian Awakener. So Aquarius, let's take a shuffle, see what energies might be coming down for down the pipe for you this month. And keep in mind, Aquarius, these are general, general, general readings. If you'd like a reading tailored to you, for you, all about you, you can get in touch with me on my website. Otherwise, take what resonates and leave the rest. And also, uh, Aquarius, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for liking and subscribing and sharing my content. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you're new here, welcome. If you enjoy my videos, I put out uh, monthly tarot, astrology, and big transit videos as well. If you enjoy my content and these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you feel called to do so, you can certainly share out my content as well, Aquarius. Now, let's get started here, shall we? Okay. So Aquarius, one thing I'm sort of getting here is something to do with taking a break, Aquarius. Something to do with taking a break. By the way, yeah, you're showing up in your reading. I love it when the uh, sign shows up in their own reading that means that the month will probably have an important uh, flavor to it or like faded events might be uh, transpiring this month Aquarius you do have uh, two major arcana so that also kind of emphasizes and this new beginning coming in which we'll get to sorry I'm getting ahead of myself here <laughs> but I mean it shows me that this month is going to have like a prominent important flavor to it Aquarius which is good news but um I feel like you're hesitant on something or you're hesitating on something um Aquarius or you're like um you need to take a break or a time out and I don't know if this is I'm gonna be honest it, it feels like a relationship feels like some sort of relationship uh, whether this is in love or this this could be a friendship or this could be a work endeavor as well Aquarius but I'm feeling like yeah I'm just feeling like you need to take a break from something you know how was your April I, I kind of feel exhausted Aquarius you know how was your how was the month of April for you um, to be honest I kind of feel tired I'm a little bit exhausted I'm kind of fed up um, you know, I'm feeling these things for you is kind of what I'm getting at. I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess I should have clarified. I, I'm feeling these things for you, uh, Aquarius. I'm not feeling these right now and then venting to you. I hope you understand that. But that just dawned on me that some of you might be thinking that I'm just like randomly venting. No, like I'm feeling these for you. I'm stepping into your energy. I'm leaning into your energy. So if you, I mean, I will show you, but you do have the rest card here. I noticed at the end of the month, but if you need a timeout, Aquarius, get it, take a timeout. If you need to get away from something, like take a break, do it, I would say, do it this month. Because um, yeah, I'm feeling like vulnerable. I'm feeling like I got like this, uh, this character here has their walls up. That's, that's exactly how I'm feeling. I'm just feeling like I need a break from something. Um, again, if this doesn't resonate with a relationship, this could be a work endeavor, like take some time off if you can, even if it's an unpaid day, like take some time off. I don't know, go to the beach, go in the forest, go into nature. I don't know, do your, wherever you recharge your batteries, Aquarius, I feel like that is going to be really beneficial at, for you at this time, because guess what? Then you got blessings coming in. Aquarius um I can't help but think so for those of you that have been following me for a while I always incorporate astrology into these videos my tarot readings because that's how the universe talks to me is through astrology so it bleeds into my tarot so uh forgive me for those of you that aren't interested in astrology but so Jupiter is popping into Gemini this month this is huge Jupiter is going to be in Gemini for a whole year um, we have a really beautiful intense energy piling into Gemini around May 20th to May 25th somewhere around that we have the Sun we have Venus we have Jupiter piling into Gemini why am I saying this because if you have any planets placements points at the beginning degrees of Aquarius 
blessings are going to be pouring in your way. This is what this is showing me. Um, abundance being handed to you. Prosperity being handed to you. Um, blessings. Whatever abundance means to you, abundance not necessarily means money, but I mean abundance is coming your way. Opportunity is coming your way. Jupiter is helping you expand in multiple areas of life, Aquarius, over the next year because Jupiter is going to be flowing harmonious, incredible energy into your sign over the next year. So take advantage of this. Whatever that's coming your way, um, Aquarius, I would say take advantage of it. Is it for everybody? No. Absolutely not. This isn't for everybody. But I mean, um, this is f getting your your uh, like faith back, hope back, prosperity back. This is getting a second wind in something. So after this break or whatever happened in April, May is going to turn the energy around for you, Aquarius. I just feel like, yeah, May is going to be... For some of you, it's going to be a turning point, which I'll get to in a second here. But um, whatever this is, Aquarius, there's prosperity coming your way. There's abundance coming your way. So absolutely take advantage of it. And I love it that this is the Aquarius card. The star card is you. And it's literally passing you. Here you go. You know, here you go. Here's some abundance, prosperity, hope, faith. Wh whatever it is that you need is coming in for you, Aquarius. Absolutely. Yeah, I love that. I love, love, love that for you. And then, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, this is the rest card. This is like taking a time out. So it looks like you might have to take a time out at the beginning of the month, maybe the end of the month as well. But again, this blessing is coming in. If this is a new job coming in, Aquarius, see if you can like take a break between jobs, if that's possible. Um, I feel like some of you have been working, working, working. Like I said, I kind of feel tired. I feel I feel that energetic tiredness. So if this is you, take that time out um, before you start something new, before you pour energy into something brand new. Um, now, the judgment card here is like, this is the Pluto card. And I mean, Pluto is newly in your sign. So over the next 20 years, which I'm not going to get on that tangent, but I mean, this is like heeding the call and this is the energy of just no going back Aquarius there's just no going back whatever this is there's no I just heard rhyme or reason there's no rhyme or reason whatever that means but for you I mean I'm hearing no rhyme or reason maybe there's no rhyme or reason to go backwards I feel like once you make this decision to move forward move with it go with it um Actually, even for some of you, this could be moving. I'm picking up like literal moving of property or moving of home or, or, or something something to do with moving this month. Um, and yeah, delays are faded. We, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. He's the slowest knight in the deck. Definitely not your type of energy, Aquarius, but... Again, things are moving things are moving on their own timetable, if that makes sense, their own timeline. But just know that there's there's some sort of turning point this month that's um I just heard cathartic cathartic. Am I saying that right? Cathartic. I just heard that. Um something that's in transition or transformational. Um, or like I said, cathartic. I think that's how you say that. Sorry, I'm not a I'm not a wizard with my words here, Aquarius, but um, yeah, there's gonna, they're showing me like a corner. So, I mean, clearly you're going to be moving in either a new direction. I'm not going to say that. Or I'm hesitant to say the right direction because there's no such thing, right? I mean, we're here to do the journey of life, which is like zigs and zags and left and right and whatever. Um but all in all, whatever this is, I mean, you're moving into your purpose, Aquarius. You're moving into that purpose. I have to show you these cards at the bottom of the deck. I'm kind of cheating here. But look at this is prosperity and abundance coming in. This is around the end of May into June. You know, this is you sitting on your throne. Or again, this could have something to do with real estate moving, property, working with a lawyer, an accountant, something like that. But all in all, King of Pentacles is utmost prosperity you do have the knight of pentacles so you're moving towards success slowly but surely though slowly but surely again it might be connected to this new beginning this is a brand new beginning 
in finances usually, like financial matters or, um, again, property, career, things, things that are attached to the material realm. But yeah, you have a lot of coins coming in, Aquarius. So whatever this is, lean into it. I would suggest to lean into it because it looks like you're going to find your perfect match in something, okay? So if it's a relationship, I mean, this could be a relationship. For those of you that, that resonates with that, it, it could be. Um, but this is finding your perfect match in something, signing on the dotted line on something or with someone. Uh, this is a commitment being made. And again, this could be uh, something to do with property. Um, I'm also hearing something to do with taxes. I'm also hearing something to do with loans or shared resources or... Um, Again, this could be a love relationship, a committed relationship, moving in together, uh, whatever the case may be. And remember I mentioned faded delays. There you go. There's the hangman. This is intentional faded pauses, intentional faded rest periods, what we talked about. So, um, yeah, I could keep pulling for you, Aquarius, but I won't. But I mean, there's so many good cards here coming up for you now. So I, I feel like um, if May feels like one of those months where it's like a mixed bag, then fine. Let it be, right? Let it be. The energy is going to pass. Uh, again, this isn't for all of you, but um, I feel like for some of you, your May will be a little bit like a roller coaster where the energy is going to ebb and flow. Um, just let it, just go with the flow, just lean into it, Aquarius. But yeah, clearly there's blessings coming in, you know, at, at the middle of the month. And then at the end of the month, I feel like things will start picking up for you more, um, opportunity coming in, clearly abundance coming in, whatever that means for you though. Again, whatever abundance means for you, Aquarius. Okay. Let's pull a couple of, Aquar um, <laughs> angel cards. I was going to say Aquarius cards. Uh, let's pull a couple angel cards. So if you have a question in mind or a situation in mind, hold it in your mind's eye and or your third eye, I should say. And um, let's see what cards are coming up for you at this time. Sorry, just bear with me. The cards are, are uh, sticky because they're one of my new decks here. Okay. Okay, so you did get within the next few months. And I do like this for you, Aquarius. Choose a new direction. Forgiveness, however that resonates with you. But yeah, choose a new direction and within the next few months. Yeah, again, that forgiveness card, I feel like is tied to a relationship. But again, this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. But I do feel like this has that flavor of something to do with taking a break from a relationship. Whatever that is for you, though. Okay, this could be in love, business, a family member, a friend, taking a break from something or someone. But. All right, Aquarius. Well, I wish you a fantastic month of May and we'll see you back here next month. Bye for now.